Sky Chase. Alright, this is already a step above the original. Though, not literally, because, you know, the other one was in the sky, but I digress. Hello everybody, I'm Garola64, and welcome back to Sonic Mania Plus Mods. Today we've got Cyan City Encore Mode. If you remember, a while back I took a look at the original version of this mod, and I had a really good time with it. And that was even before I actually played Sonic after the sequel, so I didn't really have much to go on. And I gotta be real with you, I played Sonic after the sequel on stream a while back, I remember, like, not a thing. Is Cyan City the one that had the, like, the Kirby power-ups in it? I, I can't really remember. The only thing I remember is the final bit of the game where I kept running into all the stupid glitches and then I, uh, I got to fight Buff as Super Eggman. Buff Super Eggman. I don't know why there was a stray vowel in there somewhere, but that was something cool. And, you know, people were like, oh, it's really frustrating, and after a little while, that was stupid. Uh, after a little while, I kind of got the hang of it, and it was fun. Most of the game, I thought, was okay, I believe. It's just, uh, you know, I, I liked it better than before the sequel, and that's all that matters. And some people said maybe I would have experienced less glitches, less frustration if I'd played the original after the sequel as opposed to DX, but... I kind of wanted that secret fight, because, I don't know, I, I've been wanting that buff Super Eggman fight for a very long time. <laughs> and it finally happened, and it was good. But anyway, there's a pit, don't do that, hammer drop right into the pit, definitely my smartest move. It's reminded me a lot of when I played Sonic Com Before the Storm, when I was playing as Amy and she kind of had the same type of move, and I did the same thing into like a gap that opened and closed periodically, and I just had, like, the perfect timing, and I just hammer drop right in- uh, Oh, jeez! Alright, I'm glad Mighty has the spike shield, I kind of forgot for a sec- Oh, uh, wait. Missiles. He's got no missile defense. Come on. Can Armadillos just evolve missile defense at this point? Like, it's 2018. I feel like it'd be very beneficial towards them. Also, I'm worried I'm going to get, like, chopped up in these propeller blades that are on the, the platforms that make me float as well, but I'm not quite sure if that'll happen. Also, first stage is done already. That was- that felt pretty quick, actually. Also, look at this guy, wow. He almost looks like, um... You know in Paper Mario, like, when they have some of, like, the, the dark enemies, like, you know, I have the- I think the- I don't know if they're just called Dark Goombas, or- the underground Goombas, actually. You know how they have that like, slight palette change? That's almost like a pokey if it were found underground as opposed to just, you know, in the desert. Oh man, I'm having bad flashbacks to Paper Mario 64's desert section now. I could not figure that out as a kid because I was such an idiot. I was stuck there for so long. That and I could not beat Bowser for the longest time. I had to like... I really had to go... I picked up like three extra life shrooms and that was the only way I was able to beat Bowser. And I feel dumb about that, because now I don't think I would have a problem. Like, I've played it since then, I didn't have any problems. I probably just kept skipping battles. Because when I was a kid, I didn't really understand that the more battles you fight, the stronger you were going to get. I kind of just, like, I thought of it as, like, a time thing. So I was like, oh my god, it's taking so long, I don't want to do this, and... Then, that only screwed me over. Like, when I played Mario and, uh, Mario and Luigi. It's Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. I've only really tried to play through that once, and I got stuck at the Axum Ranges, presumably for the same reason. Because I just could not, uh, realize that I should be grinding. And, let's be honest, that game is not as easy as the other Mario RPGs, or at least I don't remember it being as easy. I mean, Thousand Year Door is not ridiculously easy, but it's not as hard as RPG, and Mario and Luigi, forget about it, those games are... I could play those with my eyes shut. <laughs> okay, I mean, regardless of what my streams of the game are telling you, we, we had a bit of a weird restriction on those streams because we were playing, like, cooperatively with, you know, two controllers, but still, by myself, I think I'm okay at that game. But anyway, en enough about Mario RPGs, because clearly you probably don't care about that. Uh, we have Mighty just... What is he doing? I... <laughs> I think he'd be able to hammer drop down to the platform and hold on, hold on to it so we didn't have to do this nonsense. 
Maybe he likes it. This is kind of like being in a, uh, like a wind tunnel or a skydiving, an indoor skydiving place. I did that one time and I was afraid when I went into it, but then after I started doing it, it was really fun. And then people were like, now you're ready to jump out of a real plane. And I was like, <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'll never be ready for that because I will never do it. My, my grandmother has always been trying to get me to go skydiving for like, since, since I was born practically. I remember hearing stories about it, like she'd always be like, Hey, I'm going skydiving at some point, you coming with me? And me, as the dumb little kid I was, as I've explained previously, would say, Yeah, I'll go. But, uh, you know, I'd never do that. <laughs> I'd probably have a panic attack or six on the way down and... I don't know, you know, you know how they said in Drake and Josh, you know, like one in five people don't even make it to the ground? It's like, where do they go? You go to heaven, my guy. I'm not, I'm not making it to the ground, let me tell you that much. See, that's why I do these things in video games, so it doesn't matter. The video game characters might be afraid of heights, but... Unfortunately for them, I don't care. I'm going to serve so many comeuppance one day when I become a video game character and people force me to jump out of airplanes. Not, I'm not saying, like, a video game is made about me. I'm saying, like, if one day I am thrust into a video game, like, something out of Ready Player One, I, I, I'm really not hoping. <laughs> Really not hoping for that, because I'm not ready. The only time you will ever catch me saying I don't want to be part of a video game if I'm going to be falling from extreme heights. I don't care if you give me no long fall boots, I don't care if... I don't care if I can respawn, save state, just don't do it, please. That's right. The armadillo is mightier than the sword, my friend. Try again next week. Alright. There are a lot of these sections, and again, I, I think I remember doing this in after the sequel, but I only have very vague memories of that, even though that was probably less than two months ago. This act, compared to the first one, though, feels a lot longer. I was I was gonna try to take both Mighty and Ray into this stage and play through it, you know, once with each of them, but uh, I feel like I might just leave it at Mighty. So I like this place is really claustrophobic. I don't even know if Ray would really benefit from being in here that much. But uh, aside from the Encore update with that new first part of the level, because thank goodness they uh, they switched out the the flight segment like uh, like actual Encore mode did with Mirage Saloon, we uh, we apparently just have the levels be even more ac accurate to the the source. I suppose that's what it said on the game banana page. So that's cool. I mean, accuracy is fun. I'd also I'd love to see someone take all the levels from after the sequel and do something like Mania did, like, kind of remix Acts 1 and 2 into one act, and then make Act 2, like, a brand new deal with familiar gimmicks. I think that'd be really neat, like, you know, one of those total overhaul Mania projects that are going on now. Like, Tria, or Gaiden, or Misfits. Yeah. Alright, well. Easy come, easy go. Fire Shield wasn't helping Mighty too much anyway. He can already reflect projectiles, I'm pretty sure. And, it's not like he can use the flame charge, because, you know, no one can, except Sonic can do that, because, you know, no one else is special enough. Maybe if Mighty had his name on the game, then he'd be able to use it, but I'm not going to hold my breath. A. Alright. Magicians. Think they own the place. That is a really nice transition to this part of the... To the boss though. I, I like that a lot. And I don't know, I'm never gonna get tired of using the hammer drop down like really long falls like that because it's just so cool to see Mighty like his sprite kind of like squishes in a little bit and he just falls for a really long time but it's very quick because he goes so fast. It's like ground pounding in Mario games except you know then you get hurt. Mighty doesn't do that. He's not about getting hurt. I guess it's because he's uh I just, I just realized I made a pun earlier, I didn't even notice. Uh, the, the armadillo is mightier than the sword, I didn't even mean that. I just... <laughs> it just hit me. Oh my god. Alright, um... See, I can still do them accidentally. That's not out of my, uh... <laughs> not out of my repertoire. Alright, well, that's gonna be everything I wanted to show off for today, so if you like this video and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell, follow my Twitter, and join the Discord to keep up with more Sonic Mania Plus mods, and other things that aren't Sonic Mania Plus mods, because I do a lot of things. 
If you like this mod at all, I, I really recommend you check it out for yourself, because it is a fun one, and it's it's just really neat. Also, they just shot Mighty into the sky. Into the stratosphere with you! Ah, oh, great. Alright, I would rather be in space, to be honest. Suffocating. But anyway. Uh, I'd also like to give a big ol' thank you to my current sponsors. Stefan R3, or Stefan R3, Dire Pants, TJ McNee, Knuckles Channel 3 and Knuckles, Emeralds 3 and Emeralds, Pat569, Mitron, Atlas Requiem, Beyond, Silva PhD, Random Gamer 157, Henry S, Rob Morrison, Mega Traffic Cone, Creative, and Mike TGC. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring, it really means a lot. If you have any interest in becoming a sponsor yourself, please make sure to check out the link in the description for more information and all the benefits, such as being shouted out at the end of every single video and stream. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.